This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Pentester Academy would like to remind you that February is National Free and Open Source Software Month. This celebration recognizes the contributions and cooperative approach to computer programming, open licensing, and the free distribution of software. So, celebrate with us this month by tuning into the Toolbox every Monday and Wednesday to learn about the latest free and open source tools. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have a great tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at Spookflare. Spookflare is a meterpreter loader generator which can generate reverse HTTP and HTTPS stagers. It can also evade AVs by using custom encryptor with string obfuscation. This tool is written in C and was developed by Halil Dalabasmas, who is at HLLDZ on Twitter. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. Well, take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how an attacker can bypass Windows Defender and get the interpreter shell by using HTTPS payload generated by Spookflare. First, let's run the Spookflare and check the help. We can check available payloads using list command. After this, use generate command. The tool then asks for the payload to choose. Here, we will choose HTTPS reverse meterpreter. Now, we need to provide the IP address of the attacker machine and port number 443 for handler. We also need to define the target machine architecture, which in this case is x64. Before generating the payload, we need to make changes to Metasploit Meterpreter Handler to prevent the detection. Essentially, after modification, it will add a random number of bytes to the stager. The detail of changes is given on the GitHub repo of the tool. We need to feed the same value as fed to secure random function in the code to the spook flare when it prompts for patch size. After generating the HTTPS payload, we will deliver this to the target user by using social engineering. Next, let's run the Metasploit handler using resource file. Now let's switch to the target machine and scan the payload binary using Windows Defender. We can observe that the Windows Defender was not able to flag the binary as a malicious file. As soon as the target user executes the binary, we will get a interpreter session. This demo also highlights the dangers of running untrusted binaries and limitations of AVs. One good preventative practice is to block all ports by default so that these types of binaries can't dial home. Well, that's all the time that I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.